Do you know how the orcs first came into being? I painted them. Hi, this is Lemmy from Mini Lotter. Today I'm gonna show you how I paint an Urukai warrior. This is a quick and easy painting scheme that I use. And if you put your warriors in a group, I think they look pretty good. To start off, I used a black base coat and already did the base. It is the same as my dwarf base. You can check it out in my how to paint a dwarf video. After that, I start with applying lead voucher. I apply it everywhere where there is armor, his helmet, his torso and his arms. Don't forget his legs as well, and if you use the same pacing technique as I do, be careful to not screw up your base. I don't care if it goes on pretty thick or pretty thin. In the end, I'm gonna give it a good Agrax Earthshade wash, and it's Urukai, they are not known to take great care of their armor anyway. So if it looks a little bit manky, it looks good. Next up, I'm gonna paint his skin with Doombull Brown. I think it's the perfect skin color for an Urukai. Once again, I apply it just where there is skin. Be careful to not get it over the metal. If you do, not a big problem, just paint it over with the lead belcher again. And try not to apply a thick coat, especially around the face. Use a thin coat, especially on the face, to preserve details, especially the teeth. Even though this is a quick way to paint the Urukai, I really think it's worth the time to paint the teeth, even if it's only two teeth. After we apply the skin, we're gonna use Gortor Brown to apply it on the feet, the back of the feet especially, not the front, that's armor. And after we did the back of the feet, we're gonna take a closer look at his hands. They're wearing gloves, so paint that as well. And that's all for Gortor Brown. Now we're gonna use Morphang Brown to paint pretty much everything else that isn't painted. The straps on his armor, the belts on his back, the little dangly part in front above it. There is a little strap. I painted Morphang Brown on top of that as well. And after you applied Morphang Brown to everything else that isn't painted yet. After you painted everything Morphang Brown that isn't painted yet, we're just gonna do the hair with Corvus Black. I like to use Corvus Black for this because it has more depth to it than just plain normal black. I like to use Corvus Black because it has a little bit more of a bluish shine to it. And that's pretty appropriate if you take a look at the Battle of Helm's Deep. It has a little bit of a blue filter. After we paint the hair Corvus Black, now we just apply the wash Agrax Earthshade. And give it a good wash. Just dunk it in there. And if you get blotches or just places where the wash has dried very thick, don't worry. It's a work how it's supposed to look nasty. And when that is dry, I use a Shapti bone to just carefully paint as good as I can, two teeth or more depending on the model, just to give it a little bit more detail. Some people like to paint white hands of Saruman on their minis. I personally don't anymore, I used to do it a lot, but now I just like the plain uruk high look. And if you look in the movie, the warriors themselves don't often have white hands of Saruman. And if I'm gonna watch the movie right after recording this voiceover and they do have a lot of white hands, I'm just gonna cut this. Editing Lemmy here. It doesn't look like they have a lot of white hands on their armor. Don't know if you can hear that, but that's painting, buddy. Rohirrim don't look too happy. But I don't see any white hands on their armor, so I'm right. I'm gonna leave that part in. Thank you, Kimber Lawrence, for providing 4K footage. And after that's done, you should be having a pretty good looking uruk High warrior. And if you patch paint 12, 24 of them all at once, you can get through them rather quickly and they'll look pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe, maybe share the video with a couple of friends. And if you have anything else you want to see me paint, just leave a comment down below. In the comments there will also be a link to my Instagram page if you're interested in taking a look. Have a good one. Some... Oh. Excuse me.
use you. I painted them. <laughs> I painted them. Painted them. Painted them. I painted them. <laughs> Don't laugh, I'm recording. <laughs>